Hello everybody, it is me, The Classic Fan, and today I'm going to be talking about the June 2nd PlayStation State of Play. I won't be talking about every single thing from the State of Play, but I will be talking about some of the things that caught my interest. And in the background will be probably just random gameplay and games with things that pertain to PlayStation in them, and um, stuff that has been predominantly on PlayStation, but has gotten PC ports. And with that out of the way, let's get into it. Firstly, we got a lot of information about new PSVR 2 games, but we didn't get a lot of information about the headset in this state of play. And personally, only two games caught my eye. Resident Evil Village getting a VR mode, which is cool. They, they seem to be doing that with a lot of their Resident Evil games now. And the fully standalone... VR title set in the Horizon Zero Dawn universe, Horizon Call of the Mountain, which looks pretty cool. And if it's going to be as big as Zero Dawn was, that's going to make it even cooler, which I really hope it is as expansive and has as much to do in it as Zero Dawn did. Even though... Personally, I haven't played Zero Dawn. I've just seen people play it, and it looks like there is a ton to do in, in Zero Dawn. Which, by the way, reminder, it got an update. So there's more to do in Zero Dawn if you have um, Forbidden West. But there was one thing that was really strange to me. There was no mention of GT7 for PSVR 2. And in fact, there was no mention of GT7 at all, which to me kind of kind of sucks because I was I was really hoping that they would announce that GT7 was coming to PC. Next is the full Resident Evil 4 remake. Um, they had a port of it to the Oculus Quest in Quest 2. A while back, but we're now getting a full remake, which also will be playable in VR, which is unsurprising, as I'm assuming that for that mode, they, they probably used the underpinnings and code from RE4 Quest and put it in this game as the VR mode, and then you just have the the graphics of the new RE4 remake that's a full remake and not just a quest board to go with it which is going to look amazing on on headsets continuing with Capcom which had a surprisingly large and honestly just massive presence at uh, the state of play, or in the state of play, that is. Um, there was Street Fighter VI, which, despite having been announced months ago, really caught me off guard. Um, for two reasons. One, the, the, the graphics and the art style. With Street Fighter, I, I'm used to it being cartoony looking and being just, it not looking super realistic. But when I saw the, the, the gameplay and the trailer, kind of caught me off guard that it was Street Fighter because it didn't look like Street Fighter to me, <laughs> at least graphically. Um, they, they seem to have completely ditched the whole, um, cartoony look in favor of a much more realistic look. 
and that that just really caught me off guard, like super off guard. Um, the other thing that really caught me off guard was, aside from the actual fights, it looks like there's like an open world that you can explore in the story mode, which is j just interesting to me. Um, and I, I cannot wait to see how that will work out for them. It looks like it's going to be fun. Um, if it comes to PC, which it should, as actually, while I was writing this, I have my Twitter up, and I saw a tweet from Xbox um, with them, in effect, kind of confirming that... Street Fighter 6 was coming to Xbox as well. So, I would imagine we are getting a PC port. And I really hope we do. Because it does look fun. And finally, it is a more of a small game. But it's one I'm really looking forward to seeing what they do. Um, Roller Dome. Um, I think... In the Twitch chat I was in, I described it as, um, it looks like Jet Set Radio, but you get guns this time. And it looks like it's really fun. Um, and it's something I really hope comes to other platforms besides PlayStation, because I will buy it and I'll play it. H hands down. I will buy it and I will play it. It looked fun. And with that, that's all I have to say about the state of play for June 2nd of 2022. Thank you guys all for watching. If you enjoyed this, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you all for watching. Bye for now. Peace.